When we analyze the famous typical production of the ABBA songs and we want to trace the first times in which it was put in practice, we think about songs like Waterloo and its symphonic production or, if you want to go further back, Ring Ring and its indestructible wall of sound. It is strange that we don't used to go even further back in time to find that in 1972 the very first recording published by the group of Swedish superstars Bjorn, Benny, Agnida and Anifrid did in fact devote a lot of inventiveness, originality and, above all, an amazing amount of hours of past production in order to present the first single of the future ABBA in an unusual way, if we bear in mind the so-called tradition of unpretentious pop. The intro and the vocal arrangements, especially those in the final part, show the four delivering their dazzling talents after hours, days of struggling rehearsals and recordings in order to amaze us with something truly new from the very beginning of their career as a foursome. At that time, Bjorn and Benny were working with some material for them as a duet. When they decided to release this song in a group, Stig and Nilsson couldn't help but to give a negative opinion. In short, of course, he would be the strongest ABBA defender. People Need Love starts as a sound blast. Nothing below this could announce the arrival of a group that was meant to worldwide stardom. With an incredible timing, the piano, guitar and bass shoot a chord together with a bang from the drums. Without waiting for the shockwave to vanish, a strange sound appears. A guitar chord with some feedback, played backwards, opens the curtain to hear our idols singing. So far, only two seconds have passed. Two tiny seconds that show all the originality and effort that other bands devote to a whole record. People need hope, people need loving, they sing, like if they were announcing that they have arrived to bring all the sensations that, actually, they would bring over the following ten years together. Bjorn and the girls take their turns to sing hope and altruism messages. Despite the fact that the girls hadn't yet combined their voices with the excellence with which they would in a close future, here we can already listen to typical effervescence of their unanimous duet. The boys had arranged their voices of their couples in a way that was light years away from that in which they had arranged their past collaborations in Benny and Bjorn's records. It is essential to quote Benny Anderson right now. When you start talking about concepts like the other sound, you certainly had to mention the songs, the way we arranged them, Michael's contribution and all that, but take away Frida and Agnida and let other two girls sing their parts and the other sound goes out of the window immediately. Their voices were simply the most important ingredient of our overall sound structure. Benny and Bjorn didn't use to encourage the girls to come with ideas for vocal arrangements and there are very few vocal arrangements that can be attributed to Frida or Agneta in the whole history of the group. This fact cannot be fully explained especially after hearing the yodel singing the girls composed for People Need Love. This party of gospel and rhythm and blues ends up with the joy of a singing melody that goes up and down as the shape of the Alps in Switzerland. Here, Agneta and Fridas are ingrained with mastery. I remember that we thought it felt like a fun thing to do, says Agneta. And it is a strange gospel, in fact. There's a lot of rock in the guitar and drums arrangements. The electric guitar bites tight chords and the drums, during the jodel ending, goes crazy in drum rolls, typical of hard rock and roll. Besides, every time the chorus is repeated, the last repetition is made further up in the scale, as if to stress the positive message, it will be introduced by the same blast in the intro. In comparison with the powerful sound elements mentioned, Benny, on the other side, plays just a small touch. Chords to support the rhythm track, 
and some arpeggios here and there to unify the switch of the voices from Bjorn to the girls and vice versa. People Need Love was written for us as a foursome, Frida explains. Benny says, I remember thinking that now we have made our first really good record, and I think Bjorn felt the same way. Nevertheless, after being published as a single, Stig must have enjoyed the opportunity to remember them such a bad decision they had made to release it as a Bjorn, Ben, Yognida and Anifrit song. People in love only reached number 17 in the Swedish chart. Compared to what we had been used to, it was nothing, says Bjorn. It wasn't like we were convinced that this is what we are going to do from now on. The truth was that, with the girls still hired by other companies, with Frida enjoying her first solo hits, and with Bjorn and Benny still thinking on getting new hits as a duet, the foursome project was something that they regarded as a secondary matter. <laughs> 